If you own one of the Sony Alpha lineup cameras like the Sony a6600 or the a6400, you know that the lenses can get up to over a thousand dollars. But in this video, I'm gonna share with you my favorite budget lenses, specifically for the Sony APS-C sensor size cameras coming up. You gotta just press record. Hey, my name is Nolan Walt with Think Media and recently we had a question come in from Debbie and Debbie said, Best not too expensive lens for Sony when doing overhead shooting recipe and cooking videos. That's a great question. So I'm gonna answer that one specifically first and then I'm gonna share four other lenses with you guys if you are a Sony user. When it comes to doing those overhead video shots, what's really important when doing that is being able to zoom. So if you have a prime lens, you're not able to zoom and you might not get the correct framing. And so on these overhead shots, you wanna be able to zoom in or out so that you can get the correct shot and make everything look as good as possible with the correct framing. And so the lens I recommend is the Sony 16 to 50 millimeter F 3.5 to 5.6 lens. And this lens also has stabilization. So you're gonna be able to get some pretty smooth shots going handheld. And you know, obviously if you are on an overhead sort of tripod or mount system, then you don't need that stabilization. But this is a great cheap lens that I found for less than $150. Now, obviously if you are on an overhead type of shot, you're on a tripod, the camera's locked down in some way on some mount system, and you don't need that optical stabilization, but this lens does have it, which comes in handy for that handheld shooting. And it's really just a great sharp lens. When I first bought my Sony a5100, I got this lens with it so that I could vlog. And what I really like about the 16 to 50 millimeter is it's a great zoom range. And so, you know, 3.5 to 5.6 for the aperture isn't the best, but I found that it's still very sharp. And so when I mean it's not the best, I mean that it's not the best in low light situations because it doesn't open up as much to let as much light in. But when you're using this thing outside or if you have some lights and you're doing an overhead shot, uh, then with lighting, this lens is going to be fantastic for your camera. You're gonna get a sharp image and a really great zoom range at a really affordable price. Moving on to my other favorite budget lenses, the second one would be the Sigma 16 millimeter F 1.4 lens. Now this is under $400 and it is a great focal length at 16 millimeters. This is gonna be perfect for like your sit down YouTube type videos. So if you are recording videos where you're sitting in front of the camera or even vlogging, vlogging, even though I would recommend going a bit wider for vlogging, but sitting down in front of the camera, 16 millimeters is going to be a great focal length so you don't have to be too far away from the camera and then you're still able to get a wide shot. And then F1.4 is a really great shallow depth of field that's gonna give you that blurry background as well as having great autofocus that works natively on the Sony E-mount cameras. You are going to have a great sharp image, you know, the blurry background, everything about this lens is really fantastic. Now, if you can't quite afford that lens at just under $400, then I recommend picking up the Sony 16 millimeter F 2.8 lens. This lens is a lot smaller, it's gonna be a lot lighter, and you're gonna get a pretty similar image. Your background is not gonna be as blurry because it doesn't have that f1.4. It's an f2.8 lens, so it's still pretty good in low light. It lets a lot of light into the camera. It's a bit better than the kit lens as far as letting light into the camera, uh, but it is under $250, so you're gonna be able to save over $150 if you want to go with this version. It's a a great option, especially when you're on a budget. Now I have two more lenses to recommend. One would be more for the videographer who wants one lens to do everything. And then next I have a really, really cool lens that is only $70. But first like this video and comment down below what kind of lens right now are you using on your Sony camera? Now this next lens is the one that I recommended for the videographers, the one who maybe wants to film an event or a wedding and capture you know, everything with one lens. I recommend the Sony 18 to 105 F4 lens. From 18 millimeters, which is pretty wide, all the way into 105, which is more like a telephoto lens, the fact that you get 
all of that in one lens is amazing. And at a constant aperture of f4, this is really good because when you zoom in, the exposure is not gonna change. You know, like the first lens that I talked about, when you zoom in, the aperture is gonna change, your image is gonna get darker. But with this lens, you have a constant aperture at f4. So all the way wide at 18 millimeters, you can be at f4. And then zoomed all the way in at 105, you can be at f4. And this is going to be great for the videographers out there. You're also gonna get a really blurry background when you zoom in, you know, past 75 to 105 millimeters. When you're in that range at f4, you're still gonna get a really, really blurry background, which is awesome when you're filming events, you can get some really cool cinematic footage with that lens. Now, this is the most expensive lens on the list, but this thing is going to last you a long time. And I think this is definitely worth it because of all of the range that it covers from wide to telephoto, this lens can really do it all. And with the autofocus of this lens and the sharpness of this lens, you can't beat it. Now this next lens, it's $70. It's the newer 35 millimeter 1.7 lens. Now this is a pretty well built lens that gives you a really cool look to your footage. Now you can see here on the screen, the footage I was able to get with my Sony a6600 and this lens. And you get that blurry background at 35 millimeters. It's a really good focal distance that you can kind of get those close ups. You can back up and use it more as a wide angle. And it's a great kind of medium lens that you can use for everything. Now, if you want to learn more about this lens and all that it can do and some more footage, then click on the screen right now to check that one out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you later.